Hello everybody, today I have this disgusting engine. Uh, the customer is complaining about the starter. He says that sometimes the starter works fine, but in other cases doesn't want to crank the engine or makes a weird noise. I already removed the starter to inspect it. So here is the starter. Apparently there is no problem with it, everything looks fine. But when I pay uh, closer attention to everything, I can see that one of the nuts of the solenoid is missing. As you can see, the other side has it, but this side is completely gone. So this is the reason why the starter is not working fine. Plus, I go to the negative cable here. So I can see that this nut is completely loose, as you can see, and this is not good. So this is the reason why this starter is not working fine. In this case, you can fix the starter by installing the nut that is missing and retorquing this nut that is loose. And probably the starter will work fine. But if the starter is already having issues, I will, I will recommend to replace it with a new one. So I'm going to replace the starter anyway. I just wanted to show you the problem that a starter can have in case you are stuck in the road. You may check the solenoid nuts over here and the negative nut over here, then it's not loose. But if you're planning to uh, install a new starter, always make sure that the nuts, the solenoid nuts and the two starter nuts are completely tight so you don't have any problem. After installing the starter, you can check my video how to remove the starter on a D15 engine. I'm going to leave a direct link in the video description below so you can check how to remove it. If you have any questions about this video, just comment below and I will answer as soon as I can. Please like the video, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.